Hey guys, um, this is a super exciting video. I've been waiting for this baby boy uh, for three years already, collecting my money, putting aside, and, and it's a really, really a beast. So this, this thing here has like 32 kilograms, as some of you coffee aficionados already know. Profitech made a successor to the Profitech Pro 700. Some people call him Pro 700 Drive. On the bill where I bought it, it says actually Pro 750. Uh, somebody just called it Profitech Drive. Basically, I wanted a full espresso machine since I started my PhD studies back in 2010. And I saw it the first time in a market in Austria. And since then I've been uh, looking into these, checking out what they do, how they look like, and it's it's just it's it's <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, you you know the espresso story. You you start with one thing, you want them all. And today, finally, well, basically yesterday, is is maybe if you've seen the short reel, I managed to pull the plug and grab one with the awesome guys back in Vienna. So the company name or the the it's called Taste It. And, and they really were super helpful over emails to reserve this bad boy, to check it out for me. So they, they did open it up before me to check if everything is fine because I had to drive from Croatia to Vienna and then back. So altogether around eight hours of driving. So without further ado, let's just do the first opening up here and then I'm gonna replace it there to show some um, better view of the machine and then we can go and, and do some coffee brewing if I manage to uh, set it up properly. Super excited. It was a really, really stressful couple of days for me. And to be honest, initially I really thought I'm gonna go with uh, Lely Bianca, but after checking it out live, I was not super happy with the quality of the materials. It does awesome coffee, that's, that's far from it. And it's a really, really nice machine, so I'm not dissing it. But when, when I went to the Taste It uh, guys there and saw the Profitech up and live and then the Synchronicas and stuff, the build quality is just, out of, you know, blows everything out of water. So there's no dis discussion about it. It really is a better built device. So thank you for choosing a Profitech product. Please read the instructions manual carefully before operating the machine. Uh, <laughs> there's one thing I keep forgetting. Um, if you like the videos and what I do, please like and subscribe because it really helps me a lot doing uh, what I like and it keeps the channel running. And my first goal right now is to reach 1000 subscribers and that would be really, really nice. So thanks and let's continue with the video. Uh, spoiler alert, <laughs> after I figured out I'm gonna buy one, I actually went online and got the, uh, the instruction manual and read it before even doing the down payment. Yeah, that, that's how crazy I am. So this is the new model with the new control uh, control center. Uh, and it has a already built-in flow device onto the group head. What they did, uh, on the other hand, because they had to change the things in there, there's no more this default E61 uh, pre-infusion built in, but now they have it also in a digital form. So you can choose active and passive pre-infusion. So the active is when the pump gets like on, uh, releases some, uh, some water and then goes into the passive mode. The passive mode is really great if you plumb this in, but if you don't plumb it in once you activated the pump, then you can passively leave it on for some seconds to pre-infuse your puck. And then the, the, the whole um, machine continues pumping at a full pressure where you can then take over with the flow device or whatever you want to. So uh, right away, when we open it, here is the upper box. This is the part I wanna open right away. And then I'm gonna switch the whole machine to the table and change the environment. So let's get this open. And this looks really, really, oh my God, I'm <laughs> uh, super excited. I hope you can see it from this angle. I'm gonna pull it out a little bit. Uh, so guys, we have a few things here uh, and they all look pretty nice and they're really, really well packed. So a lot of uh, foam there to protect it. Okay, let's, let's start. So uh, here we have a grid. So this is the one 
that you're gonna put on your espresso when you're brewing your espressos on the main one so it doesn't flutter or cause any troubles. It's a nice, nicely bent piece of metal. Looks pretty cool. I'm just gonna put it here on the couch. You're not gonna be able to see it when I pull it out. Um, here is the water hose that you need to plumb it in, but I don't plan to plumb it in, so I'm gonna keep this one inside, at least not for now, because water in Croatia is super hard. So that's why I had to buy a filter to do some serious filtering and avoid the mess. Okay, that's back in. So you get a tamper. Uh, the tamper is a really basic one. This is what I would really like to see them maybe putting a better one because for years they've been using this simple one. It gets the job done, but I already bought an alternative for that. So this is not something that looks super astonishing, but it gets the job done. Uh, here is the water tray part. Okay. So there it is. Also really nice, uh, really nice build quality. Looks great. On the bottom, there's this little screw you can remove because you can get this machine when you plumb it, you can also plumb the, the drainage so you don't need to take care of it. It just gets, it gets done on its own. But that, that, and this is the piece that's gonna help you for, with that. And you can add that further on if you decide to do that thing. I'm not gonna do that because I'm, uh, for me, um, makes no sense at this point. But also you can plumb in the drainage without actually plumbing in uh, the water source. So that might make sense for you. So then we have a single spout port, uh, filter with a single uh, shot basket. And can it pop out easily? Yeah, it can. So you get a single shot. This is around, I think, seven grams. And this is the single spout outlet. Uh, the guys at the the guys at the Taste It were really, really kind, and they included a bottomless porta filter for free. And this is I'm really thankful for them for this one. Uh, and oh yeah, a short disclaimer, I forgot that. I bought this device, so this device is, is not a gift. I purchased it with my own money, so my opinion is mine in this respect. Uh, this is a Profitex double shot, so it's uh, around, I think, uh, 14 to 16 grams. It's a bit harder to pull out, but you can see it's a little bit pressed, so it's not a full 20 gram basket and it comes with a double shot uh, spout and feels nice in the hand. Let's put it down here. And then we have the, the blind basket to do your cleanup. And that's about it, what you get in this upper part. So I'm just gonna pull that there. I'm gonna leave the hose here. I'm gonna close this one down. Now comes the heavy part where I'm gonna stop the recording. I'll try to move the device or the coffee maker into a better position at my kitchen uh, table and then continue the video from there. This is a heavy baby. It's uh, around 32 kilograms of steel. So that's gonna take some muscle to, to move it, but I think I can handle that. See you in a sec. <laughs> okay, um, let's, let's continue this story. Uh, maybe you can't even see my head. I doesn't care the machine is in the, the center. Uh, one thing I forgot when we unpack the whole thing is that we miss the little brush and the brush comes with it. So this is something you get in the package. Okay, so let's get this off. Oh Lord. <laughs> Woo! Okay, sorry guys. This is like really, really exciting moment for me. I mean, look at that. Look at all that steel. It, look, it looks ridiculously well built. I mean, and the flow there, and it's, 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 it feels, it feels sturdier because on Bianca, when I tested it, I played with it. The problem was that you could really swirl this like crazy. And this is actually giving you uh, tension. So it's not like floop going there, but it takes, it takes time and effort. And there's, you need to do, uh, so this is fully closed 
And once you do a full turn and then a quarter, this is the regular flow that it should have as if it was no flow control in there. And then you can additionally then do a full, full turn to open it for further exploration. So this is something cool that you just need to count. So one full turn and half is the regular flow as if there was no flow control on it. So when you just want to play with the pressures and things. Uh, so uh, the Profitec Pro 700 used to have the knobs. Now you have switches, switches, and which look really nice and they need to be worked out. Uh, Profitech, as it says here, it's, so it's handmade in Germany. All their devices are handmade and um, really taken care of. So go check them out if you didn't so far. Uh, Steam ones are uh, isolated for the temperature, so you're not going to burn yourself or anything. And uh, I'm not sure if, if you can see it. So, but this is a two hole. And for me, as an amateur, starting with this big boys. It's gonna be really cool to have just the, the two, uh, two hole uh, steam wand just to learn how to control it. There's a, also a piece of rubber to protect you from not burning your hands and everything. On the right side, hot water spout, also protected and you can use it to drain the boilers too. Uh, regular uh, handle here, everything is in this nice black. Uh, color. I use the double uh, double sprout uh, filter just to put it in. Wait, is there something underneath? No, it's not. I just need to find the angle. There it is, and you can get it then inside. So this is this is how it looks like with the porta filter on. And let's put the the drainage in there too. There it is. So this is how the machine is supposed to look like when assembled. Uh, the upper part, so the, the tray that's used to uh, warm up the cups. Also a really nice piece of metal, um, but it has a nice black trim around it nowadays. And it covers fully the water tank, which takes, I think, two and a half liters of water. And for these machines, you want to use only filtered water. You don't want to play around with anything else to protect the device fully. It has a built-in already system, so you can use a Brita filter inside too, but I bought one uh, aside and I'm going to use that filter water and then probably put this one in too. So let's put that back in, slides in and you just push it inside. And then you have your heater for your cups, which is also great because when you need to reach the water, some people complain that they can easily because the cup warmer is here, but basically you have the handles, just remove it all together. The, the cups will not slide because they're protected and that's it. Um, so yeah, this is, this is the device. It's really, really heavy. It really took some power to put it up here. So I'm gonna now move it to its uh, intended position for testing so far. Oh yeah, you, um, I forgot, <laughs> I'm just all over the place, aren't I? Um, this is the, I think this is the pump. So the regular pump for the espresso and this is the, the pressure inside the, uh, the steam boiler. So as you know, there's two steel boilers inside um, that can be used for brewing espresso and getting out the hot water and, and steam. Uh, today, so right in a few seconds, I'm going to put it there in the position, pour in water and start the machine. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see from this corner. Let's try to rotate this beast a little bit. Uh, here is the new control center. So you have two buttons and it's an old OLED display and it should allow you to control all the necessary sub elements to get the proper cup uh, out. Um, so this is the, the flow, the group, the group pressure control. And this is built really nicely. All the edges are trimmed well, and there's no sharp edges at all. On the back, this is a nice Profitech um, logo printed in. I'm gonna take the camera now and just walk it around the device so you can see it from all the angles. Um, one more thing, the blind filter that you use to clear out and back flush sits there and you can keep it in there with no trouble at all. Uh, yes. Okay. 
that's it for these few seconds. Uh, let's make our a roundabout video and then let's put it to the real position where it should be. And let's, 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 let's get this baby running. Talk to you in a second. Look at them, just pure beauty. <laughs> okay, gonna get it plugged in and heat up and then do the, the first setup, uh, the water in and stuff, and get back to you once the, the system is up and running. Okay guys, so uh, the machine is all heated up. Uh, the cups are up here, by default it's 92 degrees Celsius for the, Brewing and 128 for the steam. It, uh, the machine has a lot of power. I'm gonna show you the steam quickly. So you have the switches. Once you rinse it, you get the full, full steam power out. As you can see, it's really, really powerful. It's actually scary and this is just the the, the double-sided tip so it's not the the one with the four holes that you can also get and mount it onto it uh, the hot water sprout is here and you can use it to dispense hot water also using the switch uh, i really like the switches uh, i used before the the handles at my friend's place it's nice but sometimes it gets stuck uh, what I want to do here, I tried playing around a little bit, excuse the mess, um, with the grinder and it's not fully dialed in, it takes time. First time playing with this, but this is so exciting guys. It's, I mean, wow. Um, I got my shot mirror glass that I got bought before. It has a little magnet and I can put it just here in the corner and can see my, my bottomless port filter. Uh, let's try brew a coffee and then let's see what we get out of it and this shot with this shot I'm gonna end my my uh, exploration for today guys and then I'm gonna need sometimes to use this machine further and to actually give you a full review of of the device I mean this is like a half a review a setup and everything and um, so right now we're gonna do uh, one, one brew just for double shot espresso. Uh, I have this nice coffee I got from Vienna, Palermo mix. Uh, I've been using it lately quite a lot and it's supposed to give you some nutty flavors and not notes. I really like um, this chocolatey stuff and so on. Not that much into fruity coffee. So let's do this here. So it's gonna be 18.5 in. Let's let's do the weighing. So just a second. 15. <clears throat> Before this, I did two test shots just to see how the machine works. And I have to tell you, it's a beast. So the amount of, of steam it gives out and the, the, the water coming out, I, I, I was not sure I can handle that at, at the beginning. It's really overwhelming, but let's see. 18.5, that should be enough. So let's get some water into this just to lose the statics. And I always keep my, my beans in the freezer just to make sure they're always nice and fresh. Uh, the Eureka grinder has been a really good one after I removed the, the clumper that was causing a lot of problems with the unification of the beans. Uh, but now it's nice and fluffy beans once you remove that thing out. So it was 18.5 in and let's see what we get out. So it's 18.4. Let's do a quick hit there. Okay, I think it should be good. Okay, 18.4 uh, is quite okay with me. 
Uh, let's get the porta filter out. <laughs> One more thing I keep forgetting is that everything is, is really, really, really hot. So I'm not supposed to touch the metal parts. I already burned myself twice, but it's kind of sweet pain. <laughs> let's get the beans in. Uh, hit it a little bit to settle it down. Okay, and let's stir it up. The ring, as you can see, doesn't fit perfectly because it's a smaller one, but I'm gonna get one 3D printed so I have a perfect fit. Okay, now let me stir it. Let's pull this out. I'm gonna just distribute the beans a bit, or the, the powder. And for now, I'm gonna use the, the press that I got with the machine. It actually is a nice tamper. I don't think you need anything super special compared to this. What I use and what I will have is this little screen that I put on top of the cup so it, it allows for the water to be dispersed in a better way and gives it a little bit more control. Uh, let's get the scales underneath. Uh, the scale is there. Let's put a cup. And let's, so um, I learned from one barista that once you get a machine like this, you're not supposed to do any pressure profiling before you're able to control the device with the default pressures. So this device right now, it's in a default flow position. So basically if I go this way, you close it completely, but you're supposed to do one full turn and then one quarter, and this is the default, um, output for the device on its own. So now we're gonna brew on this one because I wanna get into this one and then I'm gonna play with the flow control once I'm able to control the, the output of the beans in the default mode. Uh, <coughs> by, uh, I'm also gonna turn on the little camera so you can see the, the flow from the, from the bottom position. So we can see the porta filter and the coffee sprouting out. I'm gonna hit the record button there too. So first I'm gonna open the flow. I'm gonna let it sit there until the pressure builds up. And then I'm gonna put it to the middle position, basically doing this passive pre-infusion. As I already told you, this is a edited E61 group. It does not have the regular pre-infusion chamber, but the regular E61 group has it. So you're controlling everything. I'm not using digital pre-infusion, even though this device has it because I want to do um, everything uh, manually until I get the control of the device. So let's start and after that, after I let it pre-infuse for a few seconds, I'm gonna turn on the pump and let it come out. Uh, so it's 18.5 in, I'm gonna hit 440 and and uh, at 40 it should be i think more than enough so let's let's see what we get here as i said please understand it might also be a mess because i'm still uh, getting a hang of it uh, first two tests that i ran out of the camera one was complete mess the other one was actually drinkable but but let's 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 do this so a few more seconds pressure going up putting it down in the half a position and i let it pre-infuse and I, you can already see it built up quite nicely. And they usually, okay. So now this is, I think, a few seconds more than enough. Let's open it up and let's allow it to brew. I think I still need to, okay, it's coming up okay. Maybe still the, too fine. And I see a little bit of channeling there. Yeah, it's still a little bit of a mess, but it's, it's, it's coming out. So 20, 30 grams, 30, up, up, 30, up, up, 40 grams. So this still now it's too, too coarse, I think. I need to fix it further. But uh, it, it shows that the machine is doing its job and it works really, really nicely. I mean, look at the creme at this thing. This is incredible. It's really thick. Uh, a quick taste shot, mm, sorry, flavor flavor test. I know it's not gonna be, the, the, it's what it should be, it's not gonna be perfect, but. Oh yeah, this is like amazing. Okay, uh, I'm gonna turn this off. So yeah, that's it guys. I'm really happy and excited about this device. I'm already heavily caffeinated and I didn't even have my breakfast. 
and I need to play further with this, but this is like so amazing. Um, uh, yeah, uh, need to do more tests. I'm gonna come back with you over the course of the weeks with a lot more videos. And I'm sorry for that upfront, but I really, really am stoked about doing coffee. And this was really my dream for years. And this is like amazing. So one final shot. I mean, look at that. It's a beauty, a beast. So yeah, uh, thanks for joining in. Uh, I hope you, you like it. I'm gonna be having uh, more coffee-induced topics during the explorations and things. So yeah, uh, that's it for today. Uh, and yeah, <laughs> cheers guys. Have to go make some breakfast. Bye.